Hello everyone. Uh, so excited about being here before you today. Uh, my name is Earl Knight, your expert realtor, uh, licensed in the state of Florida and Georgia for now for over 18 years. Uh, going to share some great information with you on today. Uh, we're going to be going over step number five, time to get pre-approved, which is part of our 10 step process uh, to purchasing a home. And just to do a recap uh, over the 10 steps, uh, number, step number one is first you start with your credit. Uh, step number two, you set your budget. Uh, step number three, you line up some cash. Step number four, you find a great realtor. Uh, step number five, which we're going to be going over today, is uh, time to get pre-approved. Uh, step, step number six, uh, start looking for the home. Step number seven, uh, make an offer. Step number eight, go on the contract. Step number nine, get a home inspection. And number 10, you've done it. Close the deal. So I'm so excited about being able to share this information with you today. Now, if you're just getting on, my name is Earl Knight, your expert realtor, now licensed over 18 years in the state of Florida, state of Georgia. I'm the expert to be sharing this information with you today. And we're just going to go over five tips or five things uh, throughout the pre-approval process. And just to give a, a definition of what a pre-approval letter is, and basically what it is, is a mortgage pre-approval is a letter um, from a lender indicating how much of a loan that you can purchase or qualify for. It is issued after uh, credit history has been checked, credit reports pulled, and also your score has been checked, or, or financial history uh, in your, your background. And a lot of people may ask me, or, or sometimes you may say, you get with the lender, and they say, fill out an application, everything's done digital now. And sometimes there is a fee um, to get to apply for credit. And that fee could be anywhere from $5 on up to about $40, $50. If you run across any fees that may say, look, $100, $200, $340, I'll run right then. And some lenders don't even charge fees to get your application done. So that is huge. And then I, like to, I get a lot of questions all the time that they ask me and they say, look, well, what does my score have to be? And federal guidelines say that you can purchase a government loan, FHA, VA, USDA, with a score as low as 580. And most conventional loans as low as 620. But certain lenders or, or banks, they have their own in-home minimum that they would like to see. So they may say, look, I need a 660 to do a conventional or 640 to do your conventional, and I may need a 600 to do your FHA. So just do your homework there or get with a great realtor that can help you or guide you through that process. Uh, number three, after doing the application process, um, your pre-approval letter is usually valid anywhere from 60 to 120 days. And when you get your pre-approval letter, that lending that institution or that loan officer will put on that letter valid so many days from this date right here. And the reason they do that because at any time that uh, pre-approval letter may become invalid based on you losing your job, based on you getting some high credit, based on certain things. So they can't just have that letter just flying anywhere and say a year down the road you want to use that same letter. That lender may be out of town actually. So that's a huge and that's a big deal. So let's go move on to number four. Should you do it before looking for a home? Of course you should. Um, that's another big question I get asked all the time. Um, why do I need to get pre-approved? And is it important to get pre-approved? Well, we talked about what is it or the, kind, of, kind of a definition of a pre-approval letter. Is that the mortgage pre-approval is a letter that's been documented um, by the lender. So that's huge because it lets you know how much you can buy, how much you can obtain um, by doing so. Um, so you definitely want to know before you go shopping, well, how much house can I buy? Can I buy a house for 200000 Can I buy a house for 500000 Am I only approved for 100000 So you want to know these types of things before you go out and go out shopping. And lastly, but number five, um, should you compare rates? Should you go to multiple lenders and see who has the best rates and the best fees? And I would say if your score, your credit profile can handle it, most definitely. Um, shop, you know, and you can use them to compete with the other one. Say, look, man, this this lending institution, this Bank Bank of America now is giving me a rate now of uh, 3.0 and you give me a 3.5. Can you match it and beat it overall with your fees or whatnot? And but I will warn you this, that sometimes getting multiple times having your credit pool can have a negative impact upon your credit score. It can cause your credit credit score to get reduced anywhere from 30 to 50 points, sometimes 100 points. So if you're right there straddling the fence and you need that 620 to go conventional, you may just want to do your research, do your homework, get with a great realtor, and find somebody to just have one person pull your credit. Because generally, just having one person pull your credit, it usually does not mess with your score much. Maybe a couple points, two or three points, or five points at the max, uh, but most time it does not. So this is huge we get pre-approved. And lastly, even though we did five things, I'm going to give you a bonus thing today is, most people say, man, I'm already pre-approved. Well... 
my question to you is, well, how did you get pre-approved? Because if you got pre-qualified and they say pre-qualified, that's totally different from pre-approval. A pre-qualification is where you call a lender up or you call talk to a bank. And what they do is, is basically say, look, give me your information and I can tell you what number um, you're approved for. And that may be, you know, just giving them something over the phone. No documentation, no financial history. And in that case, then, you know what happens? Um, hey, how are you doing? What happens then is, is that you're not pre-approved. You've only been done verbally. So once they start searching your credit, they can find out, you know, if this is true, if that's not true. Have you turned your W-2s? Are you 1099? Do you write off everything at the end of the year? So you definitely want to get pre-approved, not pre-qualified, because a pre-approval is what's going to help you when it's time to purchase a home. So that was step uh, five, time to get pre-approved of our today's session. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you need any more questions regarding pre-approval, please leave an email, direct message to me. Also, if you're ready to go out hunting now, uh, please download the 10-step uh, process um, that you will see in the title. Um, it's absolutely free, uh, the 10-step process. And if you missed the other four, um, also download it as well. Again, my name is Earl Knight, your expert realtor, licensed in the state of Georgia, state of Florida. Been licensed now for over 18 years. Love sharing information and giving back to not only to my community, but to all that are watching it. Have a great day. God bless.